Welcome everyone to another Build an Aquarium Workshop episode where today we are taking a look at our Nemo Clownfish and technically this is a false percula, not the true percula that uh, Nemo is patterned after in the movie Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, but hey, we still named it Nemo anyways. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the differences between the true and the false uh, percula clown. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and let's get started with this little guy. So here is our lovable little Nemo clownfish, and uh, we've had him here for a little while now. Um, just so you know, uh, this uh, Nemo clown, he's Prion ocellaris, and then the true percula clown would be the Amphrey Prion percula, okay? And uh, so these, the difference is, is the thin black line. So you've got an orange, white, black fish, um, and you have the three bars, um, the bulge in the middle stripe is goes forward, um, and then for the, you have uh, the, the thin black lines uh, between the orange and the white. And it has really thick black lines, and that's the true percula. Uh, there are other ways to tell, um, but we'll just go over some general information. So they get around four inches. The female is a little bit la larger, uh, or a little bit bigger, sorry. And uh, they are kind of cool in the way that they swim. They swim by rowing their pectoral fins rather than flapping them. Uh, they live about three to five years in captivity, about six to ten years in um, the wild. Um, they do host uh, in the wild the magnificent anemone, a couple of carpet anemones, um, but they also, in captivity, they do pretty well usually with bubble tip anemones. Now, they don't need to have an anemone to survive. Um, if you have an anemone and they use it, that's great. A lot of these are tank raised, uh, so they've never seen an anemone and they don't actually use anemones. A lot of them won't go into it, uh, but you can always try it. Okay, so you can keep them in pairs or in, uh, if you do have a large tank, you can do uh, five, at least five or more. Uh, they're great reef fish, of course. Um, and back to discerning features. So you have, in the false percula, you have a taller dorsal fin. They usually have 11 dorsal spines, um, but sometimes 10. And then in the true percula, they have 10 uh, dorsal spines, but sometimes nine. Uh, we love this fish, and my son named him Nemo, so um, that's his name. Uh, true or false percula doesn't matter to us. But anyway, he's a great fish. One thing I wanted to show you, he is very, and this is true of all clowns, he's not the first clownfish I've had, um, and I've had different clowns too, um, but these guys, if you can see, I'll put my hand in there for you, and you could say they're friendly, I don't know if it's a, a friendly thing or what, but they will love to bite your hand, as you can see. Loves to be fed. And if you put your, put my hand in there, come on. There he goes. He just bit me once. I'm gonna bite me again. Anyway, I don't wanna stress him out, but they are really feisty um, fish. And yeah, if you put your hand in the aquarium, they will full blown bite you. Um, not, not just nibble, um, not just strike you. So, um, it's also one thing we, we love about them while other fish kind of run away. <laughs> um, they're, they seem very, very friendly. Uh, so yeah, so that's our false Precula clown. And you know, can't wait till he gets bigger. And uh, yeah, so that's the clownfish. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you did, give us a like. And of course, you wanna see more Building a Crime Workshop, uh, please subscribe to our channel. All right, everybody, thanks and have a great day.